Hi guys, Ben here from Blooming Pretty Gardening Services. Um, just a quick walk through, talk through of my machinery that I'm going to be using this year and see if there's anything else that I might buy this year. So, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, it is um, a year and a half or more's worth of uh, collected tools and, and stuff. So. Let's just have a walk through and see what I've got. So, I've got all my still stuff. So, the um, blower, that's the blower vacuum, combi tools, I've got two engines for it and the strimmer and edger the hedge cutter and the pole pruner and still uh, MS171 14 inch chainsaw I've got a Husqvarna 61 which has a 20 inch chainsaw on it then I've got the um, BP43C backpack blower the Steger uh, SHT660 hedge cutter. And I've got the Cobra BC330C um, brush cutter, the harness next to it. Then I've got the um, Cobra long reach hedge cutter with a Kawasaki engine on it. Scott's um, broadcast spreader and drop spreader. I've also got the Evergreen handheld spreader which I need to get a new handle for I've got a, a sprayer and I've got the um, Viking um, chipper shredder so at the moment it's set up for um, chipping branches but it can also um, shred um, hedge clippings and leaves and stuff I use it for compost, the, the sh uh, shredder thing, it just mulches it up a bit. Um, a few hand tools with my um, wide rake, long handled uh, muck fork, there's the half moon edger and um, an aerator, manual aerator with my long reach um, pole pruner. And that's my Bateson trailer. Then um, axe and um, sledgehammer, post hole digger, spade, edging shears. There's my still um, air defenders. It's usually where they live when I'm working and I'm not wearing them. Then I've got the Cobra um, S40C petrol scarifier which has the blades on um, just show you the blades underneath it so there's the blades just add a new um, a new back put on it because when I bought it it came broken then I've got the um, Cobra 3-in-1 uh, lawnmower there's my bag there's my car roll with its uh, signs on the side. We've got uh, just a snow shovel there that I use for leaves and, and light debris. And I've got the Toro, it's a Turf Master, so it's a 30 inch, 76 centimeter machine with a Kawasaki commercial engine on it. Um, this has double blades underneath it. Then um, my old faithful Harrier 56 Pro, uh, it's not a Pro, it's just the, the standard one. Then I've got the uh, Hater Harrier 41 there. And then I've got my um, multi-use uh, steps, ladders, and there's also got a platform there, some in. I think they're in my storage locker still. 
for me uh, helmet on the top and I've got uh, my angle grinder I've got my um, circular saw because I do a bit of handyman work box of screws because they're always handy for fixing gates and fences and stuff my drill they're all iron health so they all use the same battery system and I've got my um, bag of spirit levels and a hammer in there um, that's my mulching blade little crowbar they keep in the in the back of my car just two fuel cans and I've got my wheelbarrow there's my uh, shears and lopper this is a, a box of stuff just odds and sods that I keep in the back so uh, cable ties because they're useful for doing um, putting um, plants up to trellis and, and, and canes and stuff uh, it's a scrunch for my chainsaw the two sharpening kits for the two chainsaws because one's a, um, a pico chain uh, quarter and one's a one eight, uh, sorry three eighths standard chain uh, keep a claw hammer in there I've got a fork a trowel they're the blades for my brush cutter my two stroke mix uh, my Aspen 2 mix that I use in the two Cobra machines chainsaw gloves, tape measure, grease spare two stroke oil there's just the right uh, spare rimmer cord it's just a uh, an odds and sods box me pruning saw there I've got a silky one I had a um, a still one before in it it was good but that this one's better and then I've got a pair of still um, pruners a spare pair of Stanley ones and I've got a mattock lawn rake quite a few uh, springtime rakes because there's one there and there's also one up there with a brush a standard rake um, my long handled shovel they're a godsend and then my hoe is in there as well I have a three pronged hoe it's down there so a three pronged hoe there I don't know whether you can just about see it and then I've got my um, hand scarifier there, border fork, and there's a lawn loot there, but it's only the small one. I didn't think there was any. I might get a bigger one eventually, but I've just got a small one for now. Uh, shovel, uh, a digging fork, another two spades. So, just a that's my other trailer and my bull planter on the top, and my other bits and pieces. So, I, this is quite handy for if you're in borders and stuff. It's a little mini um, pick mattock. It's um, Roughneck. I think it's the same brand as my long handled um, rake. It's um, just handy for, for clearing weeds between uh, uh, plants in a flower bed, like I say back to me still uh, I need to get a new blade ordered for my um, edger it's wearing a bit it's a bit getting a bit old now uh, and you, that's the last of me Oregon that I had in this strip ahead um, that's just standard 2.3 mil Oregon cord and then as you saw in the box, I've got a reel of still. And this one is what came in this speed load head. I don't know whether you can see it very easy. It's quite light coloured. It won't just let me focus on it in a moment. But yeah, it's uh, it's just a very light. It's uh, blue with a red cord through it that's twisted. There's me long hand, me long rake. I use it for doing um, lawns, raking lawns level. Um, I call these a graveyard shovel, but I'm sure there's a proper name for them. 
it's just a long handled shovel so there we go just I've got a couple of those pop-up bags two different sizes basically I've just just had a sort out of me shed I've got the um, two other of the hater harrier 41s only the they're the hawk ones so they don't have that style Briggs and Stratton engine on them they have a um, they have like a um, a different style a slightly sort of easier style to work with with a primer bulb on the side you press the primer bulb three or four times and start them up and they're quite they're alright I'm just I've got no need for them because I've got enough mowers there the only thing that I might add in this year is I might replace that um, Heater Harrier 56 um, it, it's nice I like it it's just getting a bit old it's like a 2005 oh 2007 model can't quite see it I don't think um, but yeah, it's just just a 2007 model, so it's it's a bit on the on the old side now for what I need. So yeah, that's all my uh, all the machinery I'm going to be using for this year. And uh, if you could uh, smash the subscribe button and the like button, just so other people can see my um, videos. That's if you like them, and then just leave me some feedback on, on how you found the videos. And then if you could uh, find me on Facebook and Instagram, it's all Blooming Pretty Gardening Services. Thank you very much, and see you in the next one.